Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Review. Uh, today we're doing an Ithaca beer, and I've talked about them a little bit on my channel before. Uh, when I first got into craft beer, they're one of the first like local breweries. Uh, they're about an hour away, uh, but at that time, that was a very local brewery. And uh, Flower Power was either the first IPA I ever liked, or definitely like one of the first, like, wow, actually this is a style I enjoy. And uh, it's had a special spot in my heart since. And I tried to review it one time, but the camera wasn't quite working uh, after it was recorded. I looked at the video and it, it couldn't uh, publish it. So unless I'm forgetting something, this is actually the first Ithaca I will record and upload. Um, I believe this is a little over a week old. It might be just over two weeks old, but it's no older than that. And a friend of mine, I think of my friend Mitchell, someone I know, had it on draft and said it was good. Uh, I saw my local beer store, Sam the Beer Man. Uh, it was like $3 a can. So I said, you know what, they're, they're doing singles. Uh, I'll grab a can and review it. And uh, here we are. I'm really excited. Um, it's just it's called Pulp Addiction. Uh, they say it's an IPA. It doesn't have the canning date, like I said, though. It's either just barely over a week. I forget if it was released a week ago or two weeks ago. So it's just over one of those. Uh, it says a 60-ounce can, so I couldn't tell that. <laughs> but it doesn't have, like, ABV, hops, barley. Like, I, so I don't know anything about it other than it's supposed to be pretty good, according to at least one person I know. Um, apparently, I just clipped my nails. There we go. Let's get to the glass. I kind of have proper glassware. Let me pour it first. might be easier to see that. Oh, okay. Maybe it's a New England style. Oh, you know, I think, yeah, I think this is their take on a New England style. Pulp Addiction kind of looks like a artsy orange. Sure, says the guy doesn't know anything about art. Um, a lot of head on that. So anyway, so you can see it says uh, Ithaca Beer Company. This is a uh, glass is actually for their Excelsior series. So kind of proper glassware. I think we'll count it as proper glassware. I think when I post it to Instagram, I'm going to hashtag it. Hashtag it. Well, hashtag it. Proper glassware. I am trying to waste time to let the head go down. It is not doing too much going down. <laughs> Let's look at it. That's pretty darn. That's hazy. I don't think I've ever even like their small batch stuff. I don't think I've ever seen a hazy beer like this. It's an IPA from Ithaca. Um, their new tap, or I say new, it's years old at this point. It's beautiful. Um, really, I'm just trying to waste time for that head to go down. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, it's got that nice orange, gold, almost like honey color. Um, the bubbles, pretty compact, off-white. They're starting to break up a little bit, as again, as I'm wasting time trying to at least. And uh, But yeah, that definitely looks like a hazy New England style IP. It's, it's more than unfiltered. I'm going to guess it has wheat, oats, something in it that's giving it that. So I'm hopeful the body is nice and full. Um, I'll do the aroma, then I'll just power through the foam. That's fine. <laughs> Oh, based on the name, if I didn't say this, um, I'm definitely thinking it's going to be very citrusy. Hmm. I definitely get citrus. Then I just kind of get like generic tropical fruits. It's really hard to pick out specific fruits. Some people might think that's a negative. You're having an IPA, a dip, or whatever, and you just kind of get like what I call generic tropical fruits. Like that might not be as good as like I get mango specifically. I get you know pine whatever. This is it, it. Just kind of tastes or I'm sorry, the aroma is kind of just tropical. And the citrus is sweet. It, it's definitely looking and smelling like a New England style IPA. I'm gonna guess when I get into the taste that it's gonna have. I'm hoping that mouth feel, low level of bitterness. Because again, it doesn't have IBUs. It, it really doesn't give much on the can. I'm finally pulling out a little bit of mango. All right, so there, there's something specific, but it really it does just kind of come across as if you made like a, a, got bought a bunch of nicely ripe tropical fruits, cut them up, put them in a bowl. It's kind of like that whole thing coming together. Yeah, it smells good. I'll put it that way. It smells good. Let's get into the glass. Cheers. Very appropriate name. Very citrusy. You better like citrusy beers. Level of bitterness, a little high. Higher than what I thought. 
which I've been saying a lot of these videos lately. I think I said that in my last video where I did an IPA. It's good, though. The mouthfeel is not quite there in terms of, like, for going for New England-style IPA. And whatever, like, this is their first one, to my knowledge, that they put into a can trying to do that style. Um, it's It's there in terms of you can tell that they're going for it, but it's not there in terms of, like, they've achieved it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so pretty good mouthfeel under half again, first outing, how much you look at that lace. That's nice. Uh, but again, huge citrus, super appropriate name. An interesting sweetness. I don't think it's lactose or anything, An interesting sweetness based on how much citrus is in it definitely has, I don't know, citrus or something that's like. That, that kind of hop that you get a lot of citrus from. Of course, it might not, it's probably not single hopped. You probably would say single hopped. But I'm going to guess it has citra or some other citrusy hop. All right, the good, appropriate name because it is super citrusy. The aroma is nice. The, the, the taste is good. The mouth, the negative, the mouthfeel is low. Um, if you're looking for like super New England specific, the the bitterness is too high and the mouthfeel isn't creamy enough. So like, that's what's keeping it from being like a true New England style IPA. Is it good? Is it worth checking out? Yeah, I mean it, it's a nice beer. I'm curious what the ABV is. Based on the taste, and that's only an IPA. I'm gonna guess like six and a half. Yeah. And there, there's like another, it can't be lactose, but it, there, there's something else there for sweetness. Maybe they're just using like unique malts or something. I don't know. Yeah, I like it. I'm glad I only got one can. Um, I'm curious to see how they can build upon this, um, improve upon this. But again, for out the gate, first when they're putting a can, it's good. It's not, you know, their normal, uh, uh, wheelhouse so good for them you know branching out yeah, it's a pretty fair review it's good it's not great how about that short no number attached i like it thanks for checking me out uh, if you haven't already follow me on instagram and on tapped it's no hype beer reviews at both those places and as always please like comment subscribe and most importantly and bye cheers everyone